What's up, Salsa Bros? Welcome back. Today, we've got Mateo's Gourmet Salsa, habanero hot version. So this is a pretty simple salsa made in Texas with limited ingredients. It's got tomatoes, jalapeno peppers, habanero peppers, dehydrated garlic, salt, cilantro, red wine vinegar, spice, and lemon juice concentrate. Doesn't really say what spice is, but... So this one, again, it's habanero hot. It's supposed to be hot. Um, all natural ingredients. Let's go. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, on the nose, I'm just getting pretty much, pretty much just tomato. I'm not really smelling too much else. I'm not really smelling the heat. I'm not really smelling the jalapenos. As far as the thickness goes, this one's not too thick. You know, it's pretty liquidy. Uh, there's not really any crazy chunks in there. It's, it's pretty much blended in really well. Uh, it's not exactly chunky, but it looks pretty good. Let's give it a try. First dip, here we go. <clears throat> All right. It's got some heat to it. Right away, I'm tasting the habanero flavor. It's kind of smacking me in the face a little bit. Um, it looks like these are seeds in here I'm seeing. They might be seeds in here, it looks like, crushed up. Um, so that could be responsible for some of that heat. I'm definitely getting some habanero heat. Yeah, this is pretty good though. I wouldn't say it's crazy hot, but it's got the kick that I like. You know, a little bit of spice, make you feel like you're eating a hot salsa. Uh, so far, I'm definitely enjoying it. And you know, with the habanero, you get that slight sense of sweetness from that pepper. It's got good habanero flavor. I'm not really tasting too much garlic as the main note or anything else. It's mostly just habanero, but it's a pretty balanced habanero flavor. As much as it is giving you the flavor of habanero, which you know you want, if you pick a salsa up that says habanero on the label, it seems pretty balanced. And you know, I'm able to eat, you know, a couple chips right in a row and I'm not like grasping for water or anything. So it's not, it's not crazy hot. Yeah, the salsa that Paul got me a couple episodes back, that was crazy hot, right? That was like you take a bite or two and you need to tap out of it. You need some water. This one's got some heat. It's got some spice that I like, but it's not crazy hot. You could sit here and just chill and eat this with chips and salsa, no problem. It's not so hot that you need to eat it like on a dish, like a taco or something, you know, to blend it in with the other flavors uh, and not get overwhelmed with the heat. But it is got that tingliness to your tongue and it's bringing you some of that habanero heat. You know, so for heat, I'll give this one like a seven. You know, it's pretty respectable. It says it's hot. It is It is decently hot. I think a lot of people would think this is hot. It's good for me. It's like a comfortable hot for me. And I'm liking it. So for heat, I'll give that a seven. And for flavor, let me get another hit. It's got an enjoyable, balanced flavor. Primarily highlighting that habanero pepper. And I like that. Uh, I'm going to go at like eight and a half for flavor. Because I do enjoy it. I keep coming back to it. Um, you know, it's a good flavor. So I like that eight and a half for flavor for sure. And, you know, there's something to be said about a salsa that's got, you know, more simple ingredients and not a lot of crazy, you know, preservatives or other weird ingredients that you can't pronounce. You know, it does make you feel good eating something like that. You feel like you're eating some whole foods. It's got a simple, clean logo on it that I like. Pretty cool. You know, overall, I'm liking this one. Uh, it, it's got a little bit of heat, the spice, but not overwhelming. Uh, you know, that is relative. I like hot stuff, but if you like hot stuff, it's a good level of hot. It gives you a good amount of heat. It's got great habanero flavor if you like that kind of pepper. Um, overall, I like this. I'm gonna give this one like a, I'm gonna give this one like an eight and a half salsa bro score. It's definitely legit. If you've had this one, let me know what you think of it. I definitely like it. Uh, probably interested in trying out some of the other Mateo flavors because this one was good. Thanks for watching.